Matthew chapter 3, starting in verse 13, this is known as the baptism of Jesus. And it says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. Do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting on him. The voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am very well pleased. We are not here this week to criticize when people are baptized. We're not here to criticize if people have been sprinkled or immersed. We're just here to share about what baptism is according to what the Bible teaches. And so we use the example of Jesus who chose to be baptized at the age of 30 to announce his ministry. And also for John the Baptist to pass on to his Messiah, to your Messiah and to my Messiah, this man known as Jesus. And from this we get a chance to see and hear from God. We get a chance to see the entire Trinity of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit descending upon one another and with God sharing that this is His Son whom He loves, just as He loves you and just as He loves me. And that is why we make the choice of being baptized after we have accepted Him as our Savior and make that outward expression of our inward faith. I hope you enjoyed this and next week we'll look at another area that may be a source of dissension within your church. Until then.